should we have brotherhood? Very simple. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said so. He says in that beautiful book, ikhwa. Verily brothers and sisters, verily Muslims are nothing but brothers and sisters of each other. We are brothers and sisters. That's it. End of story. And by Allah, this bond of brotherhood and sisterhood is so strong that nothing can destroy it. Even if you backbite me, you are my brother and sister in Islam. Have you not seen what Allah says in the Quran? Does any one of you want to eat the flesh of his dead brother or sister, but you dislike it? So he used the word, eat the flesh of your dead brother and sister, meaning therefore you are actually, he is still your brother and sister, even if you're back with him. And then of course, what is the worst thing that, can you, that you can do to me? Can you tell me what's the worst thing you can do to me? Kill me, right? Some of you said, no, I can think of something worse that you can do to me. What is worse that you can do to me is not kill me, but kill my child. Would you agree? If you kill my child, it's worse than killing me. Would you agree, everybody? If I were to kill your child, would it be worse than killing you or not? Yes, Wallahi, everyone would agree. But look at what Allah says in the Quran. He says about the Wali al Maktul that he is still your brother. What does he say? He says, Ya ayyu al ladina amanu kutiba alikum al qasasu fil qatla al hurru bil hurri wal abdu bil abdi wal untha bil untha faman ufiya lahu min akhihi shay'un fatiba'um bil ma'ruf wa da'um bil ihsan. What does Allah say? Allah says, O oh mankind, verily, kutiba alikum al qasasu fil qatla, verily, the punishment of manslaughter is death in the book of Allah. The free man for the free man, the slave for the slave, the woman with the woman. Then what does Allah say? فَمَنْ عُفِيَ لَهُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ شَيْءٌ So whoever his brother forgives him, meaning what? Whoever the murderer, if he's forgiven by the guardian of the one who is dead, he is your brother still and Allah uses the word أَخِي Meaning even if you've killed the man's son, he is still your akh. Allah didn't call wali. Allah used the word akh. Akhihi shay'un. Can you understand that? That even if you were to kill my son, you are still my brother or sister? Can you understand that? If this is the worst thing that I can do to you and this still will not break my brotherhood or sisterhood with you, what is wrong with Muslimin today that we break our brotherhood and our sisterhood and our love for each other for something more simpler than that? A simple thing like look at the way he looked at me. Look at the way he spoke about me. Look at the way he jeered at me. Oh, he didn't come to my party. Oh, he didn't do this and he didn't do that. What are you talking about? Wake up. What are you talking about? Stop being childish. Your brotherhood and your sisterhood is far stronger than anything but Allah. There is no one in this audience that I ask that you leave this hall except that you've forgiven your brother and sister in Islam. Can I ask everyone, honestly but Allah, in my last few minutes that I have, can I ask you everyone in the audience to find someone next to you, to your left or to your right, that is your friend. A friend in Islam, can you find that person? Just look. Can you put that person's hand in your hand? Put that person's hand in your hand. Give them a hug. Give them a hug. Give it. Do it. And say, I love you for Allah. I love you for Allah. For Allah. For Allah. Yes, salam. Yes, salam. Do you know what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said? He said, وَجَبَدْ مُحَبَّتِي لِلْمُتَحَابِّينَ فِيَّ وَلِلْمُتَجَالِسِينَ فِيَّ وَلِلْمُتَبَادِلِينَ فِيَّ وَلِلْمُتَزَاوِرِينَ فِيَّ What did he say? He said, indeed, my love has become obligatory for the ones who love themselves for my sake, for the ones who sit together for my sake, for the ones who give gifts to each other for my sake, for those who visit each other for my sake.